What's going on guys, Ryan with Daily Patrol, back with another video today. We're gonna to talk about 15 items you might wanna buy a collector for Christmas under 100 bucks. That's right guys, we're back, another video today. Our mission is to find 15 items. You might be able to use one or two, I don't know, maybe all 15, for a gift for a fellow collector that would be under $100. And we might do another video for like the over $100. Might go into that, if you guys are interested in that, you can let me know in the comment section. But let's get into this, I thought this would be a lot of fun. I actually found these on different websites. I will put links for all these in the description below. Some of them may be affiliate links, so I would make like, three or four gazillion dollars if you use them to buy one of these products. I don't even know. I have no idea. But anyways, the first one's going to be up, and this one's actually at Big Bad Toy Store, and it is a one six scale bath robe from Fight Club, from Fight Club, and I just think this would be a cool uh, piece to add to your collection, whether you put it on like Deadpool. I could totally see Deadpool rocking this, uh, had a little cup of coffee, something like that. I think this would be super cool. $44, $45, bucks. inexpensive, a cool piece. I, I don't know if a Stormtrooper would fit into this thing, but I plan on finding out. Uh, I think that'd be kind of fun to also have a Stormtrooper uh, in a bathrobe. I don't know why. I just saw it was super cool, so hopefully you guys think so too. But again, link for this stuff down in the description below. We're gonna get on to the next thing. It's also gonna be from Big Bad Toy Store, and I've been in a kit bashing mode. I've been uh, creating different things. I've got all these extra head sculpts, and I've got some projects in mind. Stay tuned for the channel for that. Uh, but I've been looking for suits for 1-6 scale bodies. And I have been able to find 1-6 scale bodies on Toy Anxiety, uh, eBay, different places like that. And I've been able to find some of those. And so I need, now I need clothing to go on them. And I found two suits that I thought were pretty cool uh, from Vore Toys. Gentlemen suit, they have a black suit, 1-6 scale accessory set, which I thought was pretty cool. It actually comes with like the pants and the shoes, uh, the belt, the, the shirt, the whole, that comes with the whole thing uh, for 50 bucks. I thought that was pretty cool. So there's a black one and there's also so if I pull this up here, a blue one. So you might want to build like a Tony Stark. We've got so many Tony Stark head sculpts. That might be a thing. I plan on using one for my Jake Gyllenhaal uh, Mysterio figure to do a little kit bash on that one. Uh, I was thinking about going a little, uh, you know, suit and tie kind of thing for that. So we'll see how that plays out. But I think these would be super cool to add to, you know, a collector in kit bashing world. So I thought that would be kind of fun. And then because of Spider-Man fever, because of Spider-Man fever, we all... We all have extra Tom Holland head sculpts floating around, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to get a uh, kit bash a little casual Peter Parker figure and uh, put this together. So this is also a Big Bad Toy Store. This is also from Vore Toys. Uh, 56 bucks. You're going to get the pants. You're going to get a shirt. You're going to get an undershirt and a hoodie. Uh, and a backpack. So I think that's actually a pretty good deal, I think, for what you're going to get. You will need a body. You will need to find a body. Actually, I think you get the shoes, too. Uh, that, uh, yeah, you get a, yeah, so that's kind of cool. Um, but you will need a body and they're not terribly hard to find. You just got to find the right one. And again, I found one on Toy Anxiety, just six scale bodies. You can get a generic one. In fact, they probably got one on here or Amazon or wherever. Um, but it depends on what mobility you want, double joints, single joints, that kind of stuff. Uh, and you got to figure that out. But I think it would be super cool to do this. Uh, you might even do like a fight somebody or something like that if you want to spend a little bit more extra cash but those are all under 100 bucks and that would give somebody a collector a project we all need more projects in our life i think that'd be a lot of fun next up guys we've got you got a diorama basis i love them i love them and i found this one as well this is 80 bucks uh six scale the ruins of the wall base accessories actually pretty neat little setup you get uh, a little diorama base you get uh, a like a little fence uh portion uh and here it is in scale you can use you can actually use it for 1 12th scale but 1 6 scale works as well uh there's a photo there of 1 12th and they have one here on 1 6 uh right here so give you a size comparison you guys can take a look at that i think for the money it's pretty cool you might want to use it for like maybe a mandalorian maybe you have a military figure uh John Wick. I mean, you could do it for all kinds of different things. You let your creativity uh, creativity run wild and have some fun with that. Uh, so that is uh, that's a pretty cool piece. So uh, that one's going to be if I can get out of this screen here. Uh, actually, not too bad, like seventy something dollars, right? Next up, another diorama base, which I actually have in the studio. I've made a whole video on it. I'll put a link up there if I do remember to do so. Uh, I very much like this. This is from Toys Box, and uh, it's the workshop scene Tesk. 
uh, test desk three, test desk 3.0. Uh, light out feature, which is USB. You got a little plug in the back. You can plug up to a power adapter or whatever uh, and have it lit up all the time. It is super cool and it works well with Tony Stark. And uh, I'm using mine with my quantum suit, my team, team suit Stark right now. That's kind of where I've got mine at. I like this one quite a bit. Uh, you can check that out there. I, personally, I think it's worth the 85 bucks, honestly. I just think it's super cool. Next up, we've got light boxes. So earlier in the year, I got a light box from Star Wars. I got a light box from Marvel. I got one from uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Got one of those. So I've got a bunch of light boxes. I think they're super cool. If you want to have a collection room, depending on where you are, there are Marvel ones. There are Star Wars ones. I think you can find a Marvel one maybe at uh, Target or something like that. Uh, the Star Wars one, you can find them randomly. I've actually got mine for about $30 or something like that, but there, I haven't been able to find them for that price in a while. So if you have a place where you can get for around that price, let me know down below. Uh, but I very much like it. Here it is, it's on Amazon. You can get it very quickly for $89 if uh, you wanna do that. And of course you can shop around see if you can find a better deal, but uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, so Star Wars Lightbox, and then moving on, I wanna talk about those of you who ask all the time, certain questions about photography and those kind of things. So if you have somebody who is trying to get into photography of action figures or they're they're wanting to, or maybe you would kind of like, like to shove them into it, say, hey, look, you know, you got a phone, you rock and roll. You can do action figure photography with your cell phone, no problem at all. Um, it's just somewhere you got to start. You don't need all the camera gear. You don't need 17 lenses and 14 camera bodies and all the stuff. You don't need all that stuff. You can do it very simply uh, on the cheap. So uh, a lot of the YouTubers out there are using light boxes for their videos. You can find them on Amazon. That's where they're at. There's nothing special about them. They're just a light box. That's all it is. Uh, they come in different sizes. They range, this particular one I pulled up here is about $37. It's 16 inch by 12 inch. So it's not huge. Uh, there are very large ones. I have a very large one. I know Justin has a very large one. I mean, it's freaking huge. It's like 30 inches by 30 inches. It's a cube. It's crazy. It's huge. Um, I don't really use mine all that much, but uh, I do have it just for random uses if I want to use it. Uh, but you can find these things actually reasonable on Amazon. Not too difficult to find. This one right here, again, like I said, 16 inch by 12 inch. Uh, and you get, it's got a little different LED light functions and stuff like that. And you don't have to be a super gearhead as far as photography goes, dealing with f-stops and shutter speeds and all that kind of stuff. In the beginning, you just want to get your feet wet, get in there, have some fun at it. Um, and this is actually pretty cool because you have a top down angle if you want to do that uh, or you have a window. So uh, this one particular one has a couple different backdrops. And honestly, for thirty six dollars, heck of a deal. I think so. So um, I think that's pretty cool. Also, also something I use all the time, all the time. I, I, I love these little um, I have one right here. I have uh, this right here. This is a Godox M1. Here you go, guys. Godox M1 LED panel. So LED creative light. Now, I've, I've got links in the description for two different ones. This is for Godox. I also have an Aperture MC. Uh, the Aperture is a little less expensive. You can check that out. Uh, but I very much like this one as well. So I have this right here and I use this all the time. All this is, this is this one. I'll put the Aperture in there because it's a little less expensive. This one just just ekes over the uh, uh, the hundred dollar mark. I think it's like one oh five or one ten or something like that. Uh, simple on off. It is incredibly bright, as you guys can see right there. That's a fifty eight percent warning. Uh, there's a, a zero and uh, there's a hundred percent. And the cool thing about this, while I'm blinding you guys, is you can actually change the color temperature if you want to go warmer, or you can go through all your different uh, colors. LED. So if you get into action figure photography, you want some uh, different colors and whatever, you can do this. It's got different lighting effects, strobe effects, which I will not blind you with, but the strobe effects are actually pretty stinking cool. Like I said, the Aperture one on here is actually $79 right now on Amazon. The link's down below. You're gonna, it's a little smaller than this, not not much. Uh, powerful, it's got crazy like color matching things. You can take a photo of it with their app uh, and you can match perfectly whatever color you wanna match. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I like this one just because it's a little larger. It's got a little bit more output. And, but it's uh, honestly, most of the time I have it on like 50% power. So it's not, <laughs> it's not a big deal, but it's got some cool effects on there. Uh, but the Aperture MC is going to be $79 where this one's going to be, a, like I said, tad over a hundred. And then the number one question I get asked all the time is where the hell do I get a turntable? Let me, let me tell you something about turntables. Okay. Let me tell you, I, I have two of them. 
The first one I have, I actually bought on Amazon like five years ago. I think this was like 20 bucks. It's like 20 bucks. Uh, it has one speed. It has an on-off button. I'll put a link for it down below. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's about six inches wide, and that's it. I use this forever, forever. In fact, to cheat, I actually took some poster board, cut it out so I'd have a wider base, and I just let, put stuff on top of it like that. Or uh, I have uh, other like wider plates to put on top of it. I use 20 bucks, guys. You can use one of these. In that light box, you could use one of these. Um, recently, I wanted something a little larger because mine actually died. So I had to replace it. I figured if I'm going to replace it, I might as well get something a little larger, which is, oh, I got this. Let's see if I can do this. This one's quite a, a bit larger. Uh, so I don't, uh, you know, this one's going to run you about 100 bucks, 110 bucks. Uh, it's got a remote. It's got powered. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of buttons on there to go forward, backwards, speed up, quarter turns, eight turns, this, all kinds of crazy stuff. Overkill for the average collector for YouTube. I, I found it extremely useful for me to be able to turn stuff just very simply. So you can find it on there. They have white ones. They have black ones, depending on what setup you want. So if you're getting a, if you want that white light box look, then get a white turntable and you're in good shape. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, so this is not mind boggling groundbreaking stuff, but I will tell you it's pretty cool. All right. So, uh, let's see. Oh, let's take a little detour for a second for the collectors out there that like comics. I had to throw this out there cause this is something I use weekly. I, I use this all the time, and that has got to be Marvel Unlimited. Marvel Unlimited is an app. They're not paying me to say this. I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. I just use the app a lot. And Marvel Unlimited, for about $99 a year, under $100, uh, $99 a year, uh, you can actually get unlimited comic reading material uh, in the Marvel Universe. So Marvel, you got Star Wars, you got a spy, whatever you want. It's crazy. You can go back and read like OG, original X-Men number one, all the way up to stuff that's about, uh, I think the newest products they list on there may be a few months old. So you're going to be a few months behind if you want the newer stuff. But if you want to go back issues and you just want to read story arcs, if you want to read about the Eternals, you want to read about Hawkeye, you want to read Origins of Deadpool, whatever that is, all of it's on there. And for a hundred bucks or about 10 bucks a month, depending on how you want to pay for it, Marvel Unlimited is pretty cool. I use it a lot. Then... And we're, I feel like I'm moving fast, but it's okay. I'm trying to get the information out of there. Everybody's favorite Detoff, Ikea Detoff. If you're near one, they're 60 bucks. I don't think you can go wrong giving a collector a Detoff. I, I just don't think, if you can get one, like don't ship it because it's like $200 to ship one. But if you can go to an Ikea, buy it and give it as a gift, I, I, I don't know any collector that would be upset with that. So there's that. Next up, LED lighting. I've been doing a remodel and I use LED lights for all kinds of stuff. And I found there's a couple different levels of pricing on lighting. Uh, Philips Hue is probably my favorite lighting, but you're gonna pay you're gonna pay the premium on those. Like I just think that on the uh, colorations and the brightness, they're just like a step up above. However, for about a third of the cost, you can get these Govi lights. And they're pretty good, too. I have some of these throughout the uh, collection room. Uh, they've got light bars. They've got light strips. They've got like light lamps. they got all kinds of crazy stuff that are app controlled. And honestly, they're relatively inexpensive. Uh, and if you want to kick up a collection room, check out this little uh, TV thing. It, it, I actually have one on there that goes behind the TV is an LED strip. Uh, and there's a little camera and whatever shows up on the screen, the lights match whatever's on the screen. It's pretty cool. It'll dance the music and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, but the LED strips, if you guys are wondering, these are relatively inexpensive. Uh, I think we've got one right here. 32 feet for $25. App controlled. Pretty cool stuff. So uh, powerful lights. Philips Hue is going to be a step above as far as brightness and color accuracy. Um, for me, on my main display, I have Philips Hue lights because the color of white uh, that I wanted uh, the Govi lights couldn't accomplish and the Philips Hue could. So that cost me a lot of money to do that. Uh, but for me, it was worth it. And you may not be that particular. So it just depends on what you like. Uh, these light bars are pretty cool. Just all kinds of stuff. I'll put a link again down below if you want to check these out. Uh, one light that I never ever talk about and I bought it and I've been testing them and I like them is actually this guy right here. And this is an LED light bar also found on Amazon, guys. 
Uh, $33 for three. So about 10 bucks a pop uh, for these guys right here. And they have a little remote. There's three of them. And they're wireless. So you can uh, charge them via USB, uh, micro USB. They charge right there. Wireless. So if you're in a place where you can't like stick stuff on a wall or you need like a, a floating shelf, like this guy, well, you can't see it, but floating shelf, and you need one of these where you don't want to run wires, these are pretty cool. They have a magnet strip on the back that I actually already have installed in the other room. The magnet goes on double-sided tape, stick it up there. This magnetizes up there so you can take it down easily and has a remote and uh, you can turn it on and off. There we go. Boom, right there. Pretty cool. Uh, and it's got 50% mode. You, you can dim it and do all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, but you can actually dim this guy. See it right there? I'll bump it back up. Relatively bright. Uh, they have a cool white and a warm white. I went with the cool white just because I like that color better in, in collections. Um, batteries last relatively long time, depending on how often you got, it, uh, got them on. Uh, the one downside of these is you do have to turn them on with the remote as you throw stuff at the camera. You do have to turn these on with the remote um, every time you go in the room. So that, that's a thing. So you can turn them all on, but you need that. And uh, I think those are pretty cool. I dig it. Next up, I don't know what number on. I'm just keep going. Uh, I like these for my collection room. These are Geeky Tikis. You can find these on Amazon. They've got them for different you know, properties or whatever, licenses. Uh, the Star Wars ones are cool. We've got Han. We got Greedo. Who shot first? Clearly. <laughs> but, but uh, and, you know, these are pretty cool. Uh, they're not the most comfortable things to drink out of, I don't think. But for display purposes... They're pretty cool to have, you know, just around as accoutrement. And uh, I think these are super cool. So they're going to run you 15, 20 bucks, something like that. Uh, maybe sometimes cheaper. You can find them on sale. That is pretty awesome as well. All right, moving on. Yeah, this one right here is from Big Bad Toy Store. It is the, oh, I just had to show you this because it's under $100 and it's quite ridiculous. And it is a Shiba Inu half squat, one six scale figure. B version. They have like 10 versions of this thing, of this dog. I don't know. I just ran across it. I thought it was funny and I wanted to share that with you uh, because I like gag gifts and I would 100% get one of these for my brother um, for Christmas because gag gifts are just our thing. It's just have a lot of fun. So this right here, uh, he currently does not have a dog. Uh, so I think this will be pretty cool on his desk. I just, you know, just a lot of fun with that. And I don't know. Is that crazy? I don't think it is. I think it's a lot of fun. So last but not least, last but not least, if you have no money or you want to spend no money or if you just really are cheap, <laughs> whichever whichever reason that is, uh, you can go out to your local park. You can go in your backyard. You can go in somebody else's backyard, but you probably shouldn't do that. Don't go in somebody else's backyard. Walk down the street. Okay, walk down the street and go outside and get yourself a freaking rock. All right? Diorama base for free. That's it. <laughs> That's what, go get a rock. It's a diorama base for free. Honestly, it's a pretty cool rock. I found this. Uh, we have a pond out back. I went and found this. I have, a, I have a pile of, like, display rocks that is grab randomly i'm like oh that's pretty cool looking different shapes or whatever and uh so that's what i do and it's free and it costs nothing and yes it goes in a detoff and it hasn't broken it yet so there's that so that's my uh 15 or so uh gift ideas for you guys i'll love to hear from you in the, in the comment section down below did you have a favorite did you not like any of them are you going to use some of them and maybe your own gift ideas in the description below or the comment section down below? That would be awesome. So as always, collect what you like. See you next time.